Hi everyone, welcome back to Sahab Academy. Today in this fifth video of stock level topic of material costing chapter, we are going to solve our fourth problem of this series. And the main thing about this question is here we are not calculating any stock levels. No, here the question has asked us to calculate maximum consumption, minimum consumption, maximum lead time and minimum lead time. Okay, these four different things. It's really simple and straightforward. Don't worry. Okay, and remember that you know consumption is also known as usage rates. Yeah, if the question says calculate usage, you have to understand they are talking about consumption, and lead time is also known as reorder period or delivery period. Is it clear? So you have to be clear with all the terms so that if you get a question bit twisted in exam, then you can easily understand they are just talking about the same thing. Is it clear? Okay, so now let's just read the question and let's understand what has been said over here. Now see here, KT provides you the following information. Reorder level 64,000 units, reorder quantity 40,000 units, minimum stock level 34,000 units, maximum stock level 94,000 units. So these four different levels have been given to us. Yeah, three levels and one reorder quantity. All right. And then see here, average lead time in the past has been 2.5 days. So average lead time is also given to you. What's the formula of average lead time? Do you remember? Average lead time means you have to take the minimum lead time plus maximum lead time and divide by two. That's the formula of average lead time. But they have directly given it to you. You have to understand average means just, you know, you add some things and divide by number of things, isn't it? So here average lead time will be minimum plus maximum divided by two. But they have given you that average lead time is 2.5 days. Fine. And then they are saying the difference between maximum and minimum lead time is three days. See here, they are talking something about maximum and minimum lead time. So we can understand that we will not calculate maximum and minimum consumption first. No, we'll calculate maximum and minimum lead time first because we have some information over here. They have given us average lead time and also they are talking something about maximum and minimum. So we can assume few things and calculate these, uh, you know, maximum and minimum lead times. Okay. And then see here, they are saying the requirement of this question, determine the maximum and minimum consumption and as well as the lead times, maximum and minimum. Is it clear? So this was the question. Now let's just see how we are going to solve this. It's really simple. Now let's see how to solve this. See, it's really simple. First, what you're going to do is you are going to assume that minimum lead time to be X. Okay, X days. See here, the difference between maximum and minimum lead time is three days. You all know minimum is less than maximum, right? Maximum means more, right? Minimum means less, isn't it? So minimum you can assume as X and maximum will be what? X plus three days. Do you understand this? The question is saying that there is a difference of three days between maximum and minimum. So you can clearly understand by yourself, just common sense that maximum will have extra three days. Okay. So what you will do, you will say, therefore, the maximum lead time is equal to X yeah, minimum plus three days because the question has told us the difference between them are three days. So extra three days will be there in maximum lead time. Okay. Is logic clear to you? Yes. After this, you know, we have the information about average lead time. What's the formula of average lead time? Average lead time is equal to minimum lead time plus maximum lead time divided by two. Yeah, but they have given it 2.5 days directly. So now we can use the formula of average lead time, put these two values in that, yeah, of minimum lead time and maximum lead time, these variables that we have assumed, and then solve for x. Okay, it's really simple. Let me show you. So the average lead time is equal to minimum x plus maximum x plus 3 divided by 2. Okay, is it clear? This is the average lead time formula. Now we have to input the average lead time value also and calculate for x. So how will we do that? It's really simple. See here, it is given that, you know, 2x plus 3 divided by 2 days is equal to 2.5 days. How did this become 2x? See, like terms, x plus x, that's 2x. Like terms, now, so it will get add up. Yeah, 2x plus 3 divided by 2 is equal to 2.5 days. Now you can easily solve this and get the value of x. See here, it's really simple. <coughs> this 2 will go over there. Yeah, 2 into 2.5, isn't it? So this will become 5. 
and here we will have 2x plus 3 2x plus 3 yeah and then 3 will go over there 5 minus 3 yeah 2x and then x is equal to 2 divided by 2 that's x equal to 1 day is it clear simple and straightforward isn't it so x we have solved so if we have solved x now just input the x value in these two formulas and just calculate yeah so minimum lead time is just x so that's just one day minimum lead time is just one day and maximum lead time is x plus 3 1 plus 3 4 days is it clear simple and straightforward minimum lead time one day maximum lead time x plus 3 that is 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 days you understand this really simple and straightforward first we assumed minimum lead time to be x days why why did not we assume maximum lead time to be x days it's really simple the question has told us the difference between these two is three days yeah so you know now minimum will be always less than maximum and they are saying three days difference is there so that three days extra will always be there in maximum only not in minimum so minimum has to be x only and maximum will be x plus three is it clear so we assume this and then we use the average lead time formula yeah which is minimum plus maximum divided by two so, yeah we use these values x plus x plus three divided by two and then we took the average lead time value and we solved for x yeah after simplification we got the x value and then we inputted the s x values in this assumed formulas right and we got the maximum minimum lead time and maximum lead time is it clear simple and straightforward now let's just see how we are going to calculate you know uh, maximum and minimum consumption it's really simple let's just see that so you understood this now minimum and maximum lead time okay let's move on to the uh, maximum and minimum consumption now after calculating the maximum and minimum lead times now let's just see how are we going to calculate maximum and minimum consumption it's really simple see here if you look closely in the question in this question we have maximum stock level given as 94,000 units okay and we know in maximum stock level formula we have minimum consumption isn't it so we can just flip this formula and calculate for minimum consumption right so let's just see what is the formula for uh, maximum stock level it's really simple reorder level plus reorder quantity minus minimum consumption into minimum lead time isn't it that's the formula so let's just see how are we going to solve this it's really simple reorder level which is given to us as 64,000 units plus reorder quantity minus minimum consumption into minimum lead time right so reorder level is 64,000 units reorder quantity is you know 40,000 units and then minimum consumption we don't know we'll calculate that minimum lead time we have just calculated it to be uh, one day isn't it yeah so we are going to use that yeah one day so just put the values okay 64,000 plus 40,000 minus minimum consumption into one day okay and maximum stock level is also given yeah 94,000 units so just simplify this and solve for minimum consumption it's really simple 64,000 plus 40,000 that's 1 lakh 4,000 yeah and then you know everything as it is and then one like four thousand minus ninety four thousand that's equal to ten thousand units and minimum consumption has gone there and then this one will be you know uh see ten thousand divided by one that's ten thousand only so just ignore that so minimum consumption is directly equal to ten thousand units is it clear simple and straightforward so therefore minimum consumption per day is equal to ten thousand units now after calculating the minimum consumption similarly you can calculate for maximum consumption think about any formula which has maximum consumption in it okay here we also have reorder level so think about the formula of reorder level in reorder level we have two formulas right in one of the formula we have maximum consumption into maximum lead time isn't it maximum maximum isn't it yes let me just show you the formula yeah see here maximum consumption into maximum lead time so we can use this formula yeah we have reorder level we will use this formula and calculate for maximum consumption maximum lead time also we have just calculated earlier isn't it so see it's really simple reorder level is equal to maximum consumption into maximum lead time just input the values reorder level is 64,000 units right and then maximum consumption into maximum lead time is 4 isn't it see it's 4 yeah 
it's 4 so just take that and just solve maximum consumption is equal to 54,000 divided by 4 that's equal to 16,000 units clear maximum consumption per day is equal to 16,000 units simple and straightforward is it clear so you have to understand the formulas and remember them yeah which you know you can't just remember them directly you just have to keep on solving keep on practicing and everything will be just you know embedded in your mind fine yeah so yeah that's all for this video yeah it was really simple and straightforward yeah so see you in the next video